Hey everyone! So in this video, I'm going to talk about the four essential ideas that all of you need to know for AP Biology, in particular the AP exam that you will take in May. Alright, so first of all, the process of evolution drives the diversity and unity of life. In this big idea, we're talking about natural selection, the major mechanism of evolution. Say there are 10 snakes in a yard, and 5 of them are green, while the other 5 are red. One year, the ground is red due to the mineral deposits in the ground, so it's easier for the red snakes to hide. As more green snakes are eaten because they're easier to see, the red snakes have what is called a selective advantage so that they can reproduce more and more until the whole population winds up having only red snakes. This here is natural selection. Another important thing we'll be looking at is the evolutionary relationships between organisms as shown through the graphical representations called phylogenetic trees and cladograms. Evolution can be driven by random processes too, and we'll get into more of that in a future video. The second big idea is that biological systems utilize free energy and molecular building blocks to grow, to reproduce, and to maintain dynamic homeostasis. This section is all about energy, which is mainly photosynthesis and respiration, and something called feedback. Feedback systems are extremely important to organisms as they maintain a constant internal environment, which is homeostasis. There are two types of feedback, negative and positive. Negative feedback is usually seen when there is too much of something in the body. Your organs can respond by various mechanisms in order to decrease the amount of the substance. Positive feedback is when the end product of a process is amplified, so more and more of it is made even when there is already a lot. As you go through each topic in biology, I'll give you examples of positive and negative feedback along the way and how this contributes to growth and reproduction of cells. Next up is the idea that living systems store, retrieve, transmit, and respond to information essential to life processes. I bet you can already guess what we're talking about, DNA. Here we'll be discussing a guy named Gregor Mendel and the idea of genes. In AP Biology, there is a substantial emphasis on paying attention to DNA and the genes of an organism, and crosses that can occur between hybrids and whatnot. One very important thing that you will also need to know is the difference between genotype and phenotype. Genotype describes the genetic makeup of an organism, while phenotype describes how the organism actually looks. Finally. Biological systems interact, and these systems and their interactions possess complex properties. We'll take a look at interactions between the cell and its environment, competition, and cooperation, just to name a few. This is where a lot of ecology comes into play, since it describes organisms and their interactions with the environment around them. You should be able to recognize much of the material that we cover in this section, like parasitic relationships and food webs. For most, ecology is easy, so I wouldn't worry about it too much for the AP exam if I were you. And that's it for your AP Biology Big Ideas Overview. This AP course covers so much material, it'll be beneficial for you to keep reviewing and skimming over your notes so you won't forget them for the exam. Check out my other videos and don't forget to comment any questions that you have. Thanks for watching!